Have you ever wondered why certain situations or people trigger strong emotional responses in you? Could it be your inner child trying to communicate with you? Tucked away within the labyrinth of our subconscious lies a special entity, a part of our psyche that holds on to our childhood experiences, feelings and wounds. This is our inner child, a manifestation of our earliest selves, carrying the joys, fears and lessons from our formative years. It is the innermost layer of our being that needs to be acknowledged and nurtured, not suppressed or forgotten. This inner child is the key to understanding our reactions, our fears, our insecurities and our desires. By healing this inner child, we are not just addressing past hurts, but also rediscovering our true authentic selves, our innate curiosity, and our capacity for joy and creativity. Embarking on this journey of self-discovery can transform your life and relationships. So, where do we begin? The first step towards healing the inner child is embracing self-compassion and acceptance. Imagine walking into the room of your past, seeing your younger self, and acknowledging the experiences that may have wounded your inner child. It's not about dwelling in the pain, but about lending an empathetic ear to that part of you. Allow yourself to feel the emotions that arise, validate them and wrap them in a warm embrace of self-compassion. It's not about changing the past, but about changing your relationship with it. And in this room of self-compassion, forgiveness finds its rightful place. It's crucial to understand that holding on to anger or blame is like holding a hot coal with the intent of throwing it at someone else. You're the one who gets burned. Practice forgiveness for yourself and for others involved. This isn't to condone their actions, but rather to release the heavy emotional burdens that weigh down on your spirit. It's about freeing yourself from the chains of resentment and opening the door to healing. In this journey inward, you'll also encounter your inner critic that voice that berates and belittles. It's a voice born out of old patterns and beliefs, and it can be harsh. But remember, you have the power to counter it. Replace those harsh words with loving affirmations and positive self-talk. Remind yourself of your worth, your resilience and your strength. Speak to yourself as you would to a dear friend. Just imagine if a friend came to you with their pain and struggles. Would you belittle them? Or would you offer them comfort, understanding and reassurances? the chances are you would choose the latter. So why not extend the same kindness to yourself? In every step of this journey, remember to treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding you would extend to a dear friend. Self-compassion and acceptance aren't just about feeling better. They're about creating a safe space for your inner child to heal and grow. They're about welcoming home the parts of you that were lost to past hurts and reclaiming your true, authentic self. Now it's time to reconnect with your inner child and rediscover its innate joy and creativity. Imagine a world where you're free to express yourself without judgment or fear. A world where the only rule is to have fun. This is the realm of your inner child. Remember the activities you enjoyed as a child. Maybe you loved painting or dancing, playing an instrument or building fantastical worlds with your toys. Now is the time to reignite those passions. It's not about creating a masterpiece or performing perfectly. It's about the process, the joy of doing and the freedom of expression. This is the language your inner child speaks and understands, but the communication doesn't stop there. Journaling can be a powerful tool for introspection and dialogue with your inner child. Pour out your feelings onto the page. Write about memories, dreams and desires. You can even write letters to your inner child. Tell them they're loved they're valued, they're safe. And don't forget to listen. Your inner child has much to say if you're willing to hear. Visualization and guided imagery is another valuable tool in your healing toolbox. Close your eyes and see yourself as a child, safe and loved. Imagine a healing light surrounding you, washing away any pain or fear. This practice can create a profound sense of safety and love within your inner world, sending a powerful message to your inner child that they are seen, heard and cherished. In reconnecting with your inner child, you're not just revisiting the past. You're also unlocking a wellspring of creativity, joy and vitality in the present. You're learning to see the world through a lens of wonder and possibility. You're giving yourself permission to be playful, to be imaginative, to be free. As you engage in these activities, you're building a bridge to your inner child, a path towards healing. You're not only healing old wounds, but you're also cultivating a relationship with the most authentic, vibrant part of yourself. And that, dear friends, is a journey worth embarking on. The final step in this journey is nurturing and reparenting your inner child. 
Imagine you're a loving parent to your inner child. What would you do? You'd likely prioritize their well-being, protect them from harm, and guide them towards their best self. This is exactly what nurturing and reparenting your inner child entails. Firstly, let's talk about setting healthy boundaries. This is crucial in safeguarding your emotional and mental health. Just like a responsible parent, learn to say no to things that don't benefit you or hinder your progress. It could be toxic relationships, unhealthy habits, or situations that trigger distress. It's about creating a safe space for your inner child to thrive, free from harm and undue stress. Next, let's delve into self-care. It's not just about pampering yourself once in a while, although that's definitely a part of it. It's about consistently fulfilling your physical and emotional needs. Make sure you're getting enough sleep, eating nutritious food, and engaging in activities that spark joy and relaxation. Don't hesitate to seek professional help if you feel overwhelmed. Remember, it's not selfish to prioritize your own needs. It's necessary. Lastly, tap into your inner wisdom and intuition. These are powerful tools in your healing journey. They're your internal compass, guiding you towards healing and wholeness. Pay attention to your gut feelings, your dreams, and the synchronicities in your life. They're often revealing insights about your inner child and the healing process. Trust this wisdom. It's your inner child communicating with you, showing you the path towards healing. By nurturing your inner child, you're not just healing past wounds. You're rediscovering your authentic self, unlocking your full potential, and paving the way for a more fulfilling life. This journey is about reclaiming your joy, your creativity, your courage, and your sense of wonder. It's about embracing the beautiful, vulnerable, and powerful being that you truly are. It's about becoming the parent your inner child always deserved. Now isn't that a journey worth embarking on?